Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at syncing the time on your Fitbit device. This one is a Charge 5, but it's going to be very similar for pretty much most of the devices. If for some reason the time is actually showing incorrectly, maybe you're moving time zones, or perhaps the watch or your tracker has actually lost communication with your actual main device, uh, such as your mobile phone or whatever it is you've got it synced with, tablets, etc., etc., the time can basically go wrong. Now we have done a previous video on this, which possibly you've come here from that. Uh, unfortunately, yes, if you've watched all that through and it hasn't worked for you, my apologies. Technology changes and the apps change as well, which is uh, why we're remaking this video to bring you all up to date. So let's get on with it. Now there's gonna be a few prerequisites on this. So you're gonna go over to your phone, which uh, we've got here. Go into the settings. Now I'm doing this on iPhone. Obviously if you've got an Android device, it's gonna be very similar, but the layout may be slightly different. If you need a updated version of this video purely for Android devices, let us know in that comment section and we'll try and make that happen, but you should be able to kind of work your way around it. So the first thing is to make sure that your Bluetooth is actually enabled and turned on actually on your phone itself. So for the Apple users, just swipe down and you can see that the icon is there, it's illuminated and it's all working. So that's absolutely fantastic. Obviously, if Bluetooth isn't switched on on your device, just make sure it is turned on. So the next thing to do is to go into the Fitbit app. So I'm just gonna open this. This is on the latest version as of August, 2023. So again, depending when you're watching this, yours may be slightly different, but the, uh, the theory should be exactly the same. So what you wanna do is to go into your profile, which is gonna be in the top left-hand corner for most people. There's a, normally a picture of your face or something like that. So click on that one and you'll see your devices which are linked. So this has got the Charge 5 and the Aria Air Scale, which we've also got in use. So normally you'd go into the Charge 5 and you could scroll down through and you could look for advanced settings. That is no longer in here. So what this means is you cannot actually physically change the time or the time zone from within the app now. So all of it is done purely from the operating system of your device. So what I would suggest to do first of all, if you can, if you want to save your data before you change your time zones, because obviously if you've built up steps, etc., or you've uh, cataloged, whatever it is, then you wanna save that data first of all. So press the sync now button and you'll get the information coming to sync and you'll get the progress bar go across. So that is synced. And currently we've got the right time, which is 1413, which is the same as what it is actually on our device. So that's absolutely fine. So in order to actually change the time, what you wanna do is go into your settings cog. Now again, depending on your particular device, your layout may be slightly different. What you're gonna to wanna to do is to go into general, I think it is, on the iPhone, and then go into date and time, and you're generally gonna have it set for 24 hour time or set automatically. So if you're changing time zone, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is to turn off set automatically, and then just go in and change your particular time zone. So currently I've got it set to Berlin, Germany, uh, let's try something else. So let's try something in uh, the USA. Let's see, Atlanta. So what we're gonna do is uh, set that. So that is now changed. So now it's gonna be changing entirely. So that is done. So now what we can do is go back into the Fitbit app. So we'll open that back up and then we can go into our device again, if it's not already on that screen anyway, and just click on sync now. Now hopefully it should do this live. You may need to actually, yeah, there we go. If I tap the screen, you can just about make out that's the sign there. So it's now gone back to 9.15 when in reality it's kind of like two in the afternoon here. So that is synchronized now to the new time. So if you want to change it back, obviously if you then change your time zone, you go back into uh, your original country of origin. So let's put in here UK or England, London, England, there we go. That's gonna be the best one for us. So we can do that. You can obviously, if you want to, just choose it set automatically, whichever you wanna do. Close down the app, we'll go back into the Fitbit app again, and we're in the Charge 5 section. It's already done an automatic sync. So hopefully if I press it again, there you go. Time has reset back to 14.15s, which is what the time is now. So hopefully that is uh, visible on the camera. Yep, you can see that, excellent stuff. So there you go, it's pretty straightforward now. They've actually taken out Basically, one of the more complicated issues is the fact that your phone can be on one time zone, but the Fitbit app can be on another. So now they've basically amalgamated it. So if you change your time zone on your main primary device, it's gonna change it on your tracker, which is actually synchronized with that device. So there you go. 
pretty straightforward. Hopefully this helps you. If it has, smash that like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit subscribe. Or even if you just want to say thanks for the information, hit the subscribe button and the channel notification. It all helps out the channel. So there you go. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.